game low key. I mean, if you look yeah, around yeah. in some of these sub regions, <laughs> you got a lot of robs, and in specific sub regions, you have a lot of Pac Mans. And for some reason, I and mean, Tri State is one of yeah, them. In New York, you see this high level play many times too. Yeah, see so Caleb, a this is notable <laughs> Wi Fi Pac Man, and he's also got some good offline results as well. Oh, uh, we got right into it. Here. Hold on. Oh yeah, they getting scrappy. <laughs> and this matchup, I, it took me a while to realize that Rob by paper literally wins the matchup kind of hard mm. but like but pac-man has some answers to certain scenarios like pac-man's boxing game is really good yeah but you can't but pac-man can't be too comfortable zoning against another zoner like rob for example and we all know rob is a very solid character good frame data when it comes to the square enough yeah like pac-man has to respect a lot of those options that rob has to offer yeah. Like, I feel like the only way that Pac-Man can be consistent is that he makes usage on Hydrant, like, using the water mm. and then scrapping back with Rob. Yeah, absolutely. We see Pac-Man fair. I mean, some of these are missing, but for the most part, Pac-Man fair does a pretty good job of keeping Rob out, or at the very least, applying pressure on him while approaching in this matchup. Uh, very great move out of shield. But it could just be a little bit hard for Pac-Man to kind of cut into Rob's space, being a more contact-based character and dealing with Rob Ooh, there. That we was see such a great setup right making there great Caleb. use of the bell. Yeah, I mean, only two bells during that stock, with both of them netting a whole lot of reward. Right now, I want to see Caleb kind of use his lead right here. Already 42%. But this is Rob, Rob can cheese this. Oh, I love the knowledge right there. Hitting Do the pellet the instead of Pac-Man himself. Oh, wow. Too low to actually well, make the three? recovery. Yeah, that was oh, all three. That's crazy. Yeah. I haven't seen Pac-Man get edge guarded like that in a long time. Very good stuff from Starnix hitting the power pellet before. But that's what I was saying. It's like Pac Rob's like comp like, like square enough frame data is too good for oh, Pac-Man yeah. to like sleep on. Like like Caleb got a little lazy with that recovery and trying to just move around the ledge and hit the pellet. And then that was pretty much it right there. It was curtains. Yeah. Seeing Pac-Man use all three of their jump right there. Good. Ooh, Try to get him with the same setup with the bell and, uh, and Starnix not falling for it on his first start. Yeah, Starnix playing very good positioning now, recognizing oh, C. Caleb is looking for that wing condition of the bell. C. Caleb going to have to make some adjustments unless Starnix just kind of puts himself in that range, but we see him covering that laser. Ooh. All right, forces the air dodge right there. Good, com good combat right there. Oh. All right, this is the part where Pac-Man has to capitalize right there. Staying on center stage, not over committing. Way too much great snipe by the Apple, by the way. Oh, I like the concept from Starnix. They tried to actually cover that space with the uh, side B, but the reflector only hits on the sides, and they did not get it. Yeah. Okay, good jump from Starnix and not challenging that combo right there. What a forward smash. And now Caleb... Running away Ooh. with this, basically. A little tricky movement there coming from CK. But I like that. Starnix has to be careful holding in a little bit and disadvantage in some of these scenarios. And C. Caleb is now net 62% of extra credit. So Ooh. Starnix just going to have to play a little bit more honest walking into this. That was just oh a my very God. tricky bell. My man let go of shield two times in his face. And Caleb still not letting it rip. Caleb already has an idea. Oh, okay, try to move around, but yeah. not against a good, not against a good Rob character. Very good stuff there from Starnix. But I like, I like how Caleb is playing the matchup. Like they're not Ooh. jumping way too much. So perfect up smash call out. I was just gonna mention something similar to that. Like I like the way how he was playing the matchup, staying very grounded, mm -hmm. not jumping way too many times to the point where you can get cheese with up here. Some yeah. of those scenarios, Caleb Di kind of bad. But that's not the main point right there. Yeah, that was the perfect bell setup on that first dog. Yeah, Knowing absolutely. that, you know, the Caleb forced Rob to be in the corner, and it was either you square out with Pac-Man or you reset neutral. Yeah. But since Starnix didn't have enough space from the corner, it was either get hit by Bell or you just hold shield and let Pac-Man grab you from there. Yeah, absolutely. And unless you have the speed to react to Pac-Man grab, things can get really scary there. And I mean, once C. Caleb kind of recognized how Starnix was playing in the corner, looking for those approaches, looking for that air dodge mm. in, you know, stuff like that, C. Caleb just kind of started pushing, getting that extra damage and sealed things out quite quickly. Yeah, we might see, we might see some ad adjustments from Starnix right here. Mm -hmm. Curious to what stage we're gonna be going to. I feel like they might either run it back or probably FD. I, some reason I, in this matchup, I see a lot of FD. I don't know why. 
I guess be, I guess because mm -hmm. it's just flat and you're not having oh, no yeah, platforms. And this little movement tech here. We see, oh. see Caleb do that little slide there. I what forgot that? about that. Yeah, so... And it's also... it's uh, The thing with that movement is that if Pac-Man has a specific fruit doing that, well, the, he, he kind of like slid at that moment. But mm. Pac-Man can do a tech that you threw an empty hydrant next to an actual one, mm. and you throw the fruit at the same time, it jets right through it. Really? Yeah, and That's depending on the fruit you have, it has a, tr a different trajectory at the side, too. Cool, yeah, so, because it's getting that water. Yeah. yeah. That. So in that scenario, I forgot what fruit he had. I think he had orange at the last game, but orange, orange would just go straight. It would just j beaming at you. Yeah. That's oh, some wow. scary 70. stuff. Wow, that was a very smart burner boost there. Not over committing to pushing right to the stage, instead going a little bit high. I really like that from Starnix, but see Caleb just calling out a lot of these landings, positioning a lot better here. Uh, Starnix does get the cross up, running under. Oh, uh, yeah, that near is not going to confirm. But Caleb not falling for the gimmicks. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, right there. Pac Man framed it a bit too good whenever the combat situation is happening. And the back here is not going to do it just yet. Yeah, Might get an Apple Edge Guard. Oh, okay, never mind. I was capping. Oh! See, Caleb doing a good job of not staling the smash attacks too early, and it is resulting in some early kills. But back air is not kind of stale. It's going to make it a little bit difficult to kill Rob on these edge guards. Another thing I kind of noticed Caleb is doing is that he's he's very consistent on getting out of that ledge trap scenario that Starnix is setting up. With the gyro, perfect apple. But every time Starnix aims the gyro to the ledge, Caleb does not hesitate. He will do the right option. 90% of the time, and will punish Starnix for being too comfortable right there. I love the Galaga combo, getting basically 50 damage right there off the bat. Mm -hmm. Starnix uh, autopiloting the combos off of down tilt a little bit, but aside from that, playing pretty clean right now. Just needs to figure out where the stock is going to come from at this point. I want to see more edge guards from some Starnix whenever Caleb is off stage, because. I feel like in this matchup, you're not supposed to let Pac-Man get too comfortable. Hesitates on the Rob follow-up, but gets the up throw using this Smashville platform as you should right there. Yep, great right, back to It's just like whenever Starnix punishes, they're, they're consistent on in, when they're on the stage. But when it comes to being off the stage, he, I feel like Starnix is not confident on edge guarding Caleb. And Caleb shines when you let him get too comfortable on not edge guarding him at all. Yeah, absolutely. Covering oh a lot of space God, here. The, the apple, apple was still, still active. active. <laughs> what? <laughs> big teams, big teams. Big oh, brains and big teams. Throw the, the melon up? Play. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Quite that was a quite oh, that was a unfortunate. Cute the Jarrah could have applied some corner pressure there, but it actually made contact with the hydrant. These ledge cancels using the water, super tricky stuff. But Caleb playing around with his food a little bit too much, and Starnix pretty close to finding the stock in the corner. Caleb's gonna have to be careful here. No resources. Ooh, does get the belt yeah. through the stage, but not enough time to find the conversion. All right, that was a good laser beam from from Starnix right there. Caleb was looking Ooh, for needy. the apple setup right there. Yeah. Should, Should, no, I was about to say, that better a be a lot. dead pack me right there. Yep. Pick jump a couple too many times there. Also just, once again, started playing with his food a little bit. But Caleb has demonstrated the ability to put this together. So potentially only going to see 23% of extra credit here. But Starnix oh, yeah, making right. a lot yeah, happen. Oh, I saw Starnix is not confident. It looks I'm seeing I'm seeing something like Starnix is getting a little bit of momentum from these little pokes here and there, and they don't mind it. Yeah, but if Starnix, I feel like if they don't close out the stock too quickly, then Caleb is just gonna run away with the set from the way how things is looking. Like like you see you see Caleb still moving right now. Yeah. Love the the stor the strawberry setup instead of going for the brain dead. Bread and butter combo from Pac Man with the double aerials. It's just, nah, I know you're gonna panic somewhere. Dro Z drop and stood right there, yeah. waiting for Star Nexus' next option of what they're gonna do. That was a great pause. And as you were saying earlier with Star uh, some of these decisions, they just need full confidence, right? Because yeah. they're making the right decision. They're just not capitalizing all the way. as most people would sh like uh, that would do. Because yeah. I've seen Star Nexus play some people before. They've been moving, mm -hmm. you know, doing the, the, the basic Rob combos. Ooh, I already like trying to cheese Caleb at the side. Oh, what a Tech chase. Kala making a lot of usage from the bell and the four smash is definitely gonna take it. Yeah. Starnix not looking too happy about it, but it was a decent, it was a decent set as yeah. it is. Well played set for bad. sure. 
easy to get in your head when the result of the set is 2-0 like that, but regardless, a lot of clean play, a lot of good ideas. Just need uh, to really have that full confidence and follow through on your ideas. Yeah, they, like, there were some scenarios that, you know, Starnix had impression. one stock. Like, he had, they had a stock advantage, and they was doing little pokes here and there. But I wanted to see more stuffing out there. Like, right, that, that scenario right there. Yeah. They had the read, but didn't fully let the up smash rip and actually just kills um kills Caleb with the off throw instead. Yeah, absolutely. Just but that being that being said, it was good stuff from Caleb having a 2-0. Not an easy matchup for Pac-Man right, whatsoever. Yeah. Still very grounded, was smooth was moving with the fruits. Instead of just like throwing it randomly, Caleb like cal um calculated space, whatever to position the fruits wanted to go. Try yep. to do some hydrant movement from the previous game also. And make decent uses of the bell. Mm -hmm. Like right there, Caleb called out the jump option that Starnex was comfortable at. Yeah. And because he knew that he didn't have enough time to use Pac-Man's ground speed, he threw it and anticipated Ooh, the start on the jump right there. Boom, the back air. That was great corner pressure. I mean, just riding the water off that fair is some really good theory. We see a lot of good uh, character-specific skills. Oh, yeah, he'd be using that a lot. Of just so much tech. We had... Uh, the ledge cancels constantly during the set off of the water. We had that little bit of slide off the empty right, hydrant toss, demonstrating a lot of cool corner pressure. Yeah, I'm on stream. Let me show this. Let me show yeah. it over real quick. 